the President of the French Republic for taking this initiative and I think uh, hitherto we had not been sufficiently aware or at least the international community was not sufficiently aware. In other words, the fact is that Boko Haram was described for some years as a terrorist movement and has become extremely dangerous. I think this conference, organized by our very dear friend, President Francois Hollande, is a diplomatic approach that enables us to uh, draw the attention of the international community, to warn the international community that Boko Haram is a very dangerous movement and that we are determined to pool our efforts, to pool our resources, both at national and regional level as well as international level. And I think that this is a very useful conference organized by the French president, and I think we should thank him. Uh, I think we can say Boko Haram started off in, at the beginning of the decade, the 2000, um, displaying religious intolerance in order to dis destabilize through its criminal action. And this incident, the kidnapping of the schoolgirls, illustrates this. Now, we are determined to put an end to this. And we say that religious intolerance has no place. And the President of the French Republic recalled that we also emphasized other actions, including dialogue, interfaith dialogue, in order for Boko Haram to be aware that when we're talking about secularity, the secularity cannot be challenged. And it was suggested, amongst other suggestions, that a sub-regional conference on interfaith dialogue be held in order to put an end to religious intolerance. So I think this conference, as the President of Cameroon has said, the, further to this conference, we are determined to combat Boko Haram and we are determined to take all the measures in order to ensure that the girls kidnapped in Nigeria re return to their families in full c c compliance with human rights. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. I would also like to commend the initiative of President Hollande. I would like to commend the uh, United States, the United Kingdom, and the U European Union for being here. This summit was convened, as you know, further to the kidnapping of the schoolgirls in Shibok in Nigeria. This uh, brought about a wave of uh, indignation, condemnation around the world, and we have dis determined to mobilize everybody in order to find and release the young schoolgirls. But our conference did not stop at that. Uh, as has been said, we decided that that each country will strengthen its intelligence gathering capacity, its operational capacity. We also decided, um, the five countries here decided to pool their resources in terms of intelligence, um, operational capacity, operational strength in order to counter the terrorist threat and in, 
and in particular to deal with the terrorist threat of Boko Haram, which has links with other terrorist organizations such as ACME, the, uh, the Shabab, etc. And as the president of the um, Lake Chad Basin Association, our summit also decided to adopt medium to long term measures um, regarding the economic and social development of the region. Because as you know, we already uh, at country level, the Lake Chad Basin countries had already decided to uh, establish a social and economic development plan for the region, which ultimately will help us to contain terrorism because, as we know, the key ally of terrorism is poverty. And if we uh, roll back poverty, this means that we contain we can contain terrorism. So I would like to commend once again President Hollande for holding the conference and also for reaching the conclusions. And first and foremost, we've mobilized the states. Um, uh, and we've decided to join forces to release the girls and to move towards economic and social uh, development, which is the main way of uh, containing and defeating terrorism. Thank you. So questions. What we've decided is that there'll be one question for each head of state. So RTL. RTL. First of all, you were to decide on operational resources. Can I know, could you tell us a bit more about the operational resources that have been decided upon? Uh, France, for example, will there be drones? Will there be Rafale fighter planes? flying over Nigeria, where do we know more about where these young women are? Do we have uh, information on this? And if I may, Mr. President, a second question regarding our own borders with Jérôme Carvier, who 